What's happening, guys? Hey, listen, later today I'm going to put up a podcast that I did with uh, Remy Arelake. And this guy is from the Bronx. And he grew up his early years in Nigeria. Then was in the Bronx selling drugs, selling illegal cell phones. Ultimately ended up going into the uh, Navy SEAL program serving our country and I interviewed him yesterday about what's happening in the world these days if it wasn't clear yet Remy is black he's African American and I interviewed him yesterday and I'm going to put that up later today on the podcast and I'll put up a little teaser video here on Instagram but it's worth you guys watching because I do have something to say for every influencer out there right now because it's Tuesday and you're putting up a black picture as in a black screen on your Instagram account and thinking you are exercising your voice and that you are taking action towards helping this injustice, you're fucking out of your mind. If you're an influencer, you have, you have a social duty to do more than just on a random Tuesday collectively put up a picture of a black screen and think that you're doing something great and noble. You've got a voice. November is coming. We've had people, politicians in power for 30, 40 years, like Feinstein and others, who constantly say change and preach change, but constantly get back into office. And all we see is year after year, from Rodney King, on back, on forward. The same thing happening over and over again. And so if you want to really create change, you've got social influence, then you've got social responsibility, motherfuckers. And I say to you that all of you who are putting up the black screens today, you better also be influencing your followers, the people who look up to you, in voting and making sure it's the right vote, choosing the right people, the right leaders of police departments, the right mayors, the right governors, the right president, the right senators, the right congressmen. Because let me tell you, it's cute to be in solidarity on a random Tuesday from the comfort of your own home posting up a black picture. It's a whole different thing to exercise your voice over and over again and risk losing some money, risk losing your business, risk losing followers, you motherfuckers. And I share this with you guys because there's so many people who are sending me messages private text messages saying, hey man, what you're doing and how you're speaking up about the political influence over over this coronavirus. And now that I'm voicing my opinion about what's going on with the injustice in our world. Like, hey man, it's really good. Those same people, the friends of mine, are not liking and commenting my posts, yet they're sending me text messages and telling me I'm doing a great job. And they're not liking and commenting simply because they want to stay neutral. If you think you can stay neutral by just putting up a black post today, and that's going to be enough, you're out of your mind, man. You're out of your mind. And you are the problem if you're doing that. Appreciate all the hearts. Appreciate all the love you guys are giving me right now. Listen, man, I'm not Democrat. I'm not Republican. I'm a free market capitalist that believes everybody, everybody has a right to earn money, have freedom, and be judged on their actions, not on their skin. Think about that. Your skin is one millimeter thick. Think that because of that one millimeter thickness of skin, the thickness of a dime, that we can be different? You're out of your mind. Remove that skin and we're the same color, man. But this is a call to action to all of, all of you social influencers who are taking a stand today on a Tuesday by putting up that black screen, you need to be taking a stand from now until November and beyond and influencing the people that follow you, that look up to you and making the right decisions and finally bringing justice into law enforcement, into politics and equality worldwide. I'll see you guys later.